So you know how guys are always obsessed um, with dicks, you know, they say big dick is better than small. You know, when I was younger, I was really, really scared of big dicks. I just like, they scared shit out of me. Every time when a guy would pull out something and I would look at it and it was bigger than my standard, there was no way he would come inside me. So, you know, I would lick it, I would, you know, uh, touch it, I would play with it, but it would not come inside me. It would come everywhere else. One day, this guy walks in and then he pulls out his, you know, something like a squash. And he's just standing in the middle of the room and like so proud of himself. Says, yeah, look at that. I am the best, aren't I? And I'm like, you know, you're not getting inside me. That's disgusting. Get out. The other night, there was this guy who had something like a Kirby. And he's really good. He really knew how to use his fingers, his tongue. He knew all the points. He read his books. He was very educated. So we both walked out of the experience very, very satisfied. Um, so I had this lover um, some time ago and uh, we were getting ready for a party and uh, I was putting on this beautiful dress that was like bright red and you know like with nice décolleté and quite short and my lover comes to me and says oh you know please can can you not to put the uh, panties on and I said why not he says oh it would be so nice if you were at the party with no panties on and only you and me would know the secret and I would be so hot for you and I said well you know in what dream world do you live in you know like you know I look at you I want you my pussy immediately starts to drip so if I you know walk around my my pussy is drip drip dripping and then uh, I sit down on sofa and I get up there would be like a puddle of my pussy juice in the sofa and you know on the on the back of my dress would be all soiled with pussy juice you know what what do you think what how can I not put panties on and he gave it a thought and instead of going to a party that night we ended up staying at home and he drank my pussy juice all night long <laughs> So when I haven't had sex for about three or four weeks, I go crazy. I am ready to climb the walls, I'm ready to kick the neighbors and, 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 and strangle the dogs on the street. I'm just going crazy. So uh, one day when I got in the state, you know, I was like, you know, I have to have sex. So I lie down on a bed and I started to touch myself. And then I remembered my mother said, hey, you can't masturbate, don't masturbate, you get in trouble. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I can't masturbate, my mother told me not to. So um, I didn't know what else to do. So I went to a party and there's this guy that I met, we started to dance and, and talk and I was really horny. So we had sex at the end of the night and we had sex again and then sex again and sex again. And then, uh, you know, we got married. And uh, so after a while, you know, I discovered he was not such a nice guy and uh, we had to go through divorce. And so finally, after two years of pain, we split free. And so one day I found myself uh, again, not had had sex for, you know, three or four weeks and I'm going crazy. And then I remember my mother and I was like, you know what? My mother was so wrong. Masturbation can actually keep you out of trouble. <laughs>